Good evening everyone. The title of our project is Synthesis of Windshield Wiper. This is done under the subject of Analysis and Synthesis of Mechanisms and guided by Mr. Abhishek Patange. Our group consists of four students, myself Aditya Medhi, Vidisha Baviskar, Vinit Pahila Jani and Arsalan Dalwai. Now we will explain our project in brief. Hello everyone, I am Vinit Pahila Jani and today I am going to explain you the method we used during synthesis of our four bar mechanism that is Friedenstein method of for, for four bar mechanism. In this method we considered three positions of input and output crank that is second link number two and link number four which are inclined at an angle of theta two and theta four. The Friedenstein's equation is k1 cos theta two plus k2 cos theta 4 plus k3 equal to cos theta 2 minus theta 4 where the k1 and k k1 k2 and k3's values are given here substituting the three positions in this in this equation we get and solve upon solving it we get the values of k1 k2 and k3 with that we get the values of the links that is r1 r2 r3 and r4 therefore by looking at these link lengths, we can justify that it satisfies Grashof's rule that is R1 plus R3 equal to R2 plus R4. After performing the synthesis of the mechanism using Freudenstein equation as explained by Vineet, we get the link lengths, but we do not know the velocities and accelerations of the links. To find the velocity and acceleration, we use the velocity and acceleration diagrams. So first we draw the configuration and diagram with, and put, with the input angle as 60 degree as shown over here. The motor used is of robotist and brand and it is its angular velocity is about 50, 55 rpm uh, by knowing this and the link length of the link ab we can find the velocity of the link this is used to draw the velocity diagram using a particular scale as in this case is 1 is 200 as we know the velocity is perpendicular uh, in the perpendicular direction we can now easily draw the velocity diagram as uh, we have drawn it over here after drawing this uh, we can find the velocities of the link cd and cb which which are 420 mm per second and 80 mm per second uh, we uh, the for the acceleration diagram we need the centripetal acceleration we use the velocities you got from the velocity diagram to find the centripetal acceleration that is v square by the link length so uh, for, uh, we assume that there is no tangential acceleration uh, in the uh, for the input link so we draw the line uh, representing the centripetal acceleration as uh, shown in the acceleration diagram over here which also represents the resultant acceleration for the input link now we draw the link, uh, lines representing the centripetal acceleration from for the links 3 and 4 we then draw the we draw perpendicular lines uh, to them which represent the tangential acceleration then we join the intersection point to a and b and now we get the resultant acceleration for uh, both the links as uh, seen over here hello i'm vidisha i'm going to explain how we fabricated this mechanism it is a four bar mechanism for windshield wiper the links are one two three four let me tell you how this mechanism works so when crank is at zero degree the wiper is also at zero degree as crank starts to rotate the wiper also rotates and completes 90 degree and then as crank comes to 180 degree the wiper comes to its original position and stays in that position for the next 180 degree again starts rotating the material we used to fabricate this mechanism is plywood the tools used were this now taking approximate distance we cut the plywood pieces then we drilled holes now for joining these links i tried first screws and nuts but as you can see in this position the links are over each other so the screw heads and the parts with the nuts were interfering and crank couldn't complete its rotation so i used these wall plugs and washer I fixed one end of wall plugs to back side of the link and other with the washer. So it can have one degree of freedom of rotation. I joined link number one and link number four by this long screw. Also added weight here to even out the weight on both sides of this joint. As you can see the main aim of the mechanism to get 90 degree sweep angle of wiper is achieved. So that was all with fabrication. After our first evaluation, we got some comments or queries to work on. We came up with two more mechanisms. One was for the single wiper and other one was for the double wiper. It was a scintillating experience working on this project. 
the practical experience gained helped us in understanding the concepts more clearly i heartily thank mr abhishek patange for giving us such a wonderful opportunity to work on this project thank you